there was a lot of talk on whether Airbus will release a new variant of the A350 family, which was dubbed to be the A350-2000. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say that the A350 is a great family of aircraft. It allows airlines to operate at peak efficiency, it opens up new routes, and it's a great modern slick aircraft. Up to now, the family has gained around 900 orders, which makes it quite successful compared to other aircraft families. But ever since the 777X came into the picture, we can sense that more of the airline's attention has shifted to the new 777 variant. Of course, within the aviation industry, if you don't have anything better to offer than your competition, then you can kiss goodbye to your sales. So, Airbus has been talking about a further stretch of the A350 for some time now. The aircraft would have been the same size as the 777-9X. But what's really interesting is that Airbus has accused Boeing of having stretched the 777 only to achieve the unit cost reduction target and not because the market is moving from the 777-300ER to even larger aircraft. What they're basically saying is that Boeing is trying to reduce the price of their planes and flood the market so that Airbus doesn't have much area to play with. Take that as you will, but I found it quite interesting. So, depending on the configuration, the A350-1000 in a typical layout is likely to have around 30 fewer seats than the 777-9X. The likelihood of them going forward with the idea is not so clear at this moment in time. On some occasions, they're flirting with the idea, and on other occasions, they're outright dismissing its potential. In terms of what engine the 2000 will use, well, they won't be able to use their current Rolls-Royce twin engines because they're already maxed out to full power on the 1000. This makes the engine deficient on the larger 2000 model. It could offer 45 more seats compared to the 1000, and the maximum takeoff weight would be increased from 308 to 319 tons, allowing it to fly 7,600 nautical miles and compete with the Boeing 777-9 capabilities. It also would have been seen as a direct replacement for the 747, but Airbus are concerned about the size of the 400-seater market. Besides the 747-8 and the 777-9, they have feared that such an aircraft could have a negative impact on the 1000 sales. Now, I know there's not much to go on when it comes to this new hypothetical variant, but realistically speaking, I don't think Airbus are ready for a stretch of the A350-1000 just yet. They're currently going through the process of sorting out their production line for the 1000 and delivering their 900 model at a steady pace. But I believe that within the next 5-10 to 10 years, when airlines start to retire their wide-body fleet, there could be a need for the 2000 and Airbus could revisit the idea. But for now, the A350-1000 is doing just great. So captains, that's what I have to say regarding the 2000 model. Please do share your thoughts and opinions regarding this and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my fellow friends. Remember to like and subscribe for more aviation videos and I hope to catch you guys very soon.